11 previous Final Fours, four national titles. That's what the coaches here in Detroit have on their resumes. One of them's gonna leave with another national title, or in the case of Jay Wright, could be his first. Hey, how are you folks? Jay Norwood's glad to be with you on Destination Detroit, presented by Denny's, brought to you by Denny's new Grand Slam, which everything you love about the Grand Slam now in a sandwich. Let's bring in the team, CBS College Sports, Steve Lapis, CBS Sports, Bill Raftery, and guys, uh, you always have great coaches at the Final Four. It always happens. But this year, there seems to be so many storylines. Uh, you know, Roy Williams breaking this team back for a second straight year. Tom Izzo is his fifth in 11 years. Is it the last for, for Jim Calhoun? Jay Wright and what he's doing, resurrecting that 85 story. There's not one to pick out, but when you talk about these four coaches as a whole, it doesn't get much better than this. No, it, it, they're unbelievable coaches, as we know. But the one thing that really sticks out to me, Bill, is you got a guy like Tom Izzo who's been coaching for 14 years. And he's able to go into a home and say, hey, every guy who's played from, he's been to a Final Four. Now, I don't know if there's a better pitch than that, but that one's pretty good. Well, the other two go with the rings, though. Yeah. You know, just as well, multiple rings. Uh, now, you know, to get here, as we all know, is it's an extraordinary feat. Staff has to contribute the total involvement of a program. But uh, I'm, I'm looking at Jim Calhoun and saying, well, is, if he wins, would he be satisfied now to move on? And he's had some off-the-floor distractions at this point in his career. He doesn't need those. So for him, maybe this is the last round. I, I don't know that as fact, but uh, he's a great contributor to this wonderful game, and uh, he, might be, he might be satisfied. I don't know. Steve, you started by talking about Tom Izzo, and it's interesting because when you look at these, five, these four coaches, the first one that usually comes to mind is Roy Williams. But with what Tom Izzo has done at Michigan State following Judd Heath, Heathcote, would you say he's in the class with the best? In, um, and if he wins, is he in the class of the best of all time? Well, he's got a title. Now he's got a chance for two. I don't know if they're going to get it or not. But when you look at what he's done, he's only been head coach 14 years. This guy's not in the Hall of Fame because you got a coach for 25 years. But he's definitely in route. There's no doubt in my <laughs> mind that he's on his way He's got there. the tolls ready, yeah, right? He's, he's going to be in so. there. I mean, he's had an amazing career so you far. You know, I, I think he's finally getting his due, Jason and Steve. You know, here's a kid that, or man, excuse me. You thought he was Greek. That's why you <laughs> like him, I think. But, you know, he, here's a guy that silently did his job. And Judd Heathcote, who he plays a great deal of homage to, and rightfully so, he, he's, he's learned a lot from a lot of the sets they run are, are judged too, but they don't have magic around anymore. Uh, but I think everybody in America now, other than Coach, because they always respected him. They now are aware that this guy's the real deal. What about Jay Wright, guys? And you coached at Villanova, and, and now what Jay's doing, you were there in 85. And with what he's doing, because Villanova for so long, Steve, was the story of 85, and then, you know, they get to the tournament. But this is something completely different. What do you make of what Jay has done? No, he's done an unbelievable job because when you think back to last October 15th and somebody said, well, Michigan State, UConn, North Carolina, they're going to be in the Final Four, mm -hmm. you'd say, oh, yeah, you know, it's a good chance. You would have never thought about Villanova, even though they had everybody back from a Sweet 16 team. But you look at this Final Four, and I think they have the least talent. Not that they don't have talent. You have to have talent to get mm -hmm. here. But they have the least pros, in my opinion. So... The team, the way they're playing as a team, I think is a tremendous tribute to what Jay has mm -hmm. done. Villanova's been good all along. This level is different. You know, they're in the Final Four. Uh, I'm going to ask a question, pose a question. Is there anybody on Villanova that can start for Carolina? Think about that. Absolutely not. No. And that, that just speaks volumes to what Steve just said. It's a composite of a team. Uh, they play together. They stick together. Uh, they're unselfish. Uh, you know, obviously anybody at this level is motivated. And, and, you know, therefore Jay and his staff have gotten these kids to believe in themselves. They play in a positive fashion. He reminds me a little of Tark, not in looks <laughs> or dress, <laughs> but uh, simply that if they take a bad shot, it doesn't really bother him as long as they get back in guard. And, and I think that's a great point because they play with this confidence. I mean, they take some shots that I think coaches, people shake their heads, but they play so hard defensively and they play so well together that Jay does a great job of just instilling this confidence and, and letting them go. I cringe sometimes. Oh, I would die. You know? <laughs> but the bad no shot, doubt. he's got the Frank McGuire though. Fix the cup flanks, you know. <laughs> And look good. <laughs> and, he, and he always does. Yeah, nobody has better suits than, than Jay Wright. Real quickly, guys, when, when you talk about the attributes to make the Final Four as a coach, what is it about a coach to, to get here? Good players. Let's start there <laughs> first. <laughs> we got to start with good players. And then it's just this playing hard 
And having a style, I think, is important. And all four of these coaches have styles. Jim Calhoun has changed his style really a lot from the 90s, which has been an interesting thing. So I think having a a way to teach the game and having your guys play that way all the time I think is a key. And we really haven't dwelled much on Roy Williams because we all know what he's been able to do and accomplish. But, you know, they they have a system there. Uh, There's a family affair. Uh, players all, and we see that in all these programs by the way former players coming back uh, you know Roy he, he, he preaches togetherness and loyalty and they respond and I think the heritage and tradition of this great program he's just taking it you know along for the ride from Dean and of course Frank Dean and Bill Guthridge and that word tradition too is really important here at the final four because you're getting a lot of it with mm-hmm. all four of these programs all right folks don't forget destination Detroit presented by Denny's all throughout the tournament here in Detroit. And don't forget to bring a friend to Denny's on April 8th from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Get a free Grand Slam, which when you buy a Grand Slam. We'll enjoy the Final Four. Hope you do, too. For Steve Lapis and Bill Raftery, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.